And welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you're doing well. And we continue with some more Complete the Ark. And today the plan is we're going to be tackling the Lava Cave, or the Artifact of the Massif. Uh, but before we head on over there, I'm just going to show you what we've been up to this week. Okay, so the Allosauruses, we've been breeding lots of lots of times. Um, we haven't got any higher than the last time you saw us, but I've done at least a dozen eggs and I've got a cooldown timer now because I've adjusted um, one of the times on the settings just for hatching because I was having to wait half an hour between hatching and uh, I've, I've had to knock that down uh, to a couple of minutes because literally um, for every dozen that I get I have to kill them off and it's just it's quite a long process in the first place so um, so I've just switched one of them settings and I will do an update on the settings guide when, once once we complete it or at least an overview of what, what I thought um, once once we get there. Um, other than that we've also been out uh, hunting for Rexes and Uteranuses. Um, we did get a uh, level 150 Uteranus, is it this one? Uh, but it wasn't kibble tamed, I had to use um, the mutton chops. Um, because just having two females, they weren't spawning any eggs, but at least now I've got a couple of eggs, so if we, if we find a female, we're, we're good to go. And the stats were looking pretty good. Uh, we also got, um, was it over here? It was a level 145 male, but it's got the highest melee and um, the highest health. I think Easy over here, she's... Yeah, she had just over 7,322 melee damage. And I'll have to check the other wrecks because we've been out leveling that. So I'll just have to check the stats. I've screenshot that, so I, I can't remember. But we definitely need some more rexes anyway. So plan is today we need to grab Attila. In fact, where am I going? I need Attila. Uh, we're going to go and tackle the artifact of the Massif. Um, this will be the art last artifact we need to take on the Broodmother. Where's Attila? It's just over here. And I'm going to use Attila in this cave because I can't, I don't think I can fit anything else in. The Philo won't fit in. Um, I guess you could do it on a Raptor. Um, but um, it's only just across the water over here, it's quite easy to get to. And being that I've lost um, my otter, I'm going to have to grab another one of those. Um, I certainly want one when we go into the underwater cave because I'm going to hang around there and wait for it to respawn. But uh, yep, yeah, let's just head over to the cave entrance which is literally <laughs> just in front of us. Uh, but I'll, I'll bring it up on the map. Okay, so I am going to put a couple of sleeping bags down just in case. Now, I have lost, in the past, I have lost a dinosaur in this cave in the lava, so you do have to be careful. And it's been a while since I've done it. I'll just stick some levels on. And we've bought the Chilean soup as well, because it gets very hot in here, obviously a lava cave, so um, that will help us with the insulation, give us a little debuff. And I'm just going to wait for the cave to load in because the fog's on. Ah, oh, there we go. I'll just gamma up now. And I think uh, gamma free is pretty good for YouTube in the caves. It lights it up quite well. Um, so we'll stick with that. Okay. So yeah, like I say, it's been a while since I've gone in on this cave. And I think we best uh, take the soup. I've noticed with the kibble changes, I'm actually having, I've, I've had more use to make the recipes. So that's one of the advantages of um, doing the kibbles. I've uh, got plenty of Lazarus chowder and fire the curries laying around. Um, and I am going to bring a, a video out in December on the kibble and what I've found. 
Um, we got some onyx over here. It's our first catch of the day. So it looks like there's some spiders there as well. Oh, need to get back on. Go on, Attila. So this is a cave we could have done a little bit sooner than this, but I've just been holding off. Like I say, most of this week I've been out killing Rexes and everything, so there's not been much to show, so I figured we'd do a, we'd have to do a cave. It's been slow progress. Is that uh, Dillos? I've totally forgot Dillos uh, spawn in this cave. Looks like everything's spawning properly as well. Um, I noticed in the comments as well, somebody said the um, it was happening on the servers where certain creatures weren't spawning in as well as on the single player thing. So yeah, it's a strange bug that's happening all round. Sometimes I've had the spiders, like I say, when I've gone back in the cave, everything's spawned in on some of the occasions where I've recorded the video. But so far it looks like it's working as it should be. Okay. some of them over here. Oh, I did find a new sh um, rifle as well. It's only a journeyman one, but a better long neck than the one we had. We had a round shackle. Come on, up. And one of the things I am going to have to do um, is I'm going to have to start ho hoarding hide. Um, I haven't found a decent saddle re recipe for the Rexes, um, but I am going to need a decent saddle re recipe, and when I do, I know I'm going to need a lot of hide. So, I think that's actually on the agenda for next week. I'm going to build a couple of big safes, um, big storage safes, and just concentrate. I haven't been dropping much, although I am dropping it in this cave because Attila hasn't got much weight, but I need to concentrate on um, hoarding as much as possible. Just track these guys over here. Take that Dilaposaurus out. Now, I don't think the loot was amazing in these caves. I know one of the reasons I haven't done this cave as much is when on one of the servers I was on, somebody was set up inside the cave. And uh, yeah, so it's one that I, I didn't do as much. And. Yeah, not that useful. But like I say, these Ascendant Saddles we can grind up and they, they are going to be useful when it comes to making the saddles we do need. So I try and carry as many as we can. on these cliff edges is the uh, scorpions. They do have a little bit of a knockback. They can push you in the lava. It looks like they're falling down in the background there. Kind of like uh, just aggroing them off and just watching them fall to their death. That's one of the good things about this cave. <laughs> so Let's just drag these bats over here as well. We weren't loaded. So let's take over. Okay. So I think we head in this direction. Just gonna have to get rid of some weight. Might start pumping a couple of stats in uh, in weight. It's heartbreaking. This is the last time I'm going to drop the hide on the dinosaurs. I'm going to try and keep it. Um, that's the one stat I've not really pumped. And I still need a tiller because we're going to have to do the, the swamp cave with her. So. And that's quite a difficult cave. 
So now I think it was down the bottom here. There's some ruins. And there's usually an artif artifact. Um, sorry, there's usually a loot crate just down there. I think. Just go up. There's no other turning. Yeah, yeah, it was down here. Um, I'll just drag these these bats up here. I think we can either drop down or we'll try jumping. Yeah, I'd best not wait and I'd best jump back on Attila. Be safe. Okay. So yeah, I think we should... We can either sort of jump down, but... Looks like there's some ledges down there. Probably best to jump across. Um, let's just get rid of... No, keep going in my inventory instead of the dinosaur's inventory. No. F. Okay. There we go. Let's just drop all that. I think she shouldn't have a problem, but um, if we just go slightly to the left. I say it's been a while since I've done this cave. Ooh. Yeah, no problem. So I think the path just goes round the other way down there. There's usually a loot, loot crate down there. It feels like a, so long since I've played the island map. But I still... I know it well. Come over here, Scorpion. See, I am weary of this cave because um, I did lose a dino in here once. And that was tragic. Yeah, I kind of didn't want to play for a couple of weeks after that. <laughs> I went in a sulk. Um, but yeah, that's Ark for you. So, I promise you I won't do that this time. But it would set us back if I was to if I was to lose Attila. Let's just pull these guys over here. I haven't come across any dossiers. I think uh, there is a dossier down in these ruins. Definitely feels like everything's spawned in for the first time anyway when I've been recording, so that's a that's a good one. Thank you, Ark, for working properly today. <laughs> so spiders. I can see some scorpions over there. I'll probably aggro them into the lava. That one's coming in already, yeah. Certainly plenty of stuff spawning in the cave today, anyway. Oh, we've got a level 100. Yeah, I'm feeling the tiller's pretty strong now. So, I think in here... Yeah, there is a dossier in here. Like I say, sometimes there's a loot crate in here, but not this time. Usually a yellow one, I think. And we got a Rockwell record. Okay. Um, let's carry on up this way. Yeah, I totally forgot that the, the Dillos spawned in this cave as well. Which is pretty 
pretty cool. Um, let's carry on round and up to our right. Don't want to rush it, that's all. Um, kind of lost my bearings. Is this the right? Yeah, this is the ruins. And just shed some more weight. Just want to go back up the top here. And check, was there a ledge going around this side or was it a jump? No, it was just a just a ledge. Okay. Well, let's pull that scorpion over here as well. That's where we came out of. Yeah. Okay. Well them guys have all fallen in the lava. risk it in this cave just jumping across so and it looks like it's good so if we carry on up to our right yeah just here that's where the scorpions were that we just pulled over the side of the oh, we're in the edge here Start doing some weight. Okay. Can I see the ruins from here? I think it's just just down there. Okay. Right, this uh let's try going down deeper from here. Uh, a fact must be this way. Ah, we haven't come this way. More bad guys here. Oh, ceiling spiders. Oh, and bats. Everything's just falling through the ceiling. <laughs> Typical caves. Okay. Ah, yeah. There's the artifact. And this is kind of how I lost um, my first dinosaur. Not on this play playthrough, but it was, uh, well, it was quite a while ago now. Um, but I forgot to put him on passive when I got off going to retrieve the artifact and uh, it followed me It followed me to try and help, but uh, just uh, followed me into the lava. So yeah. We must remember not to do that. So I'm just going to come around this side and just make sure that um, nothing can get me when I'm off the dinosaur. Always got to be wary when you jump off the dinosaur when you're in the cave. And uh, I am only wearing just normal leather stuff as well, which is probably not great for a cave. But that's why I've got the soup. So... Okay. So there's a bit of a ruin there. I think there's another dossier just on the corner we can grab. Let's just pull this scorpion into the lava. There we go. Oh, and his buddies followed him in there as well. Okay. Get rid of these bats, because it could be on the other side and they could just... There we go. You know, they could just aggro on me while I'm trying to get the artifact and uh, won't be able to get back to Attila quick enough. There's another one there that's just sort of come out of the ceiling as well. Oh, and we got a level. Um, a little bit more melee, I guess. Won't hurt. Let's just check what this dossier was. 
Um, Megaloceros dossier. Yeah, haven't tamed one in a while. I remember when it was introduced to the game, it came in sort of shortly after the mammoth, and it was the way to get Fatch. More, uh, more ceiling bats. Um, yeah, since then there's been up better ways to get sort of Fatch, and even I found on the trike with the, the ability to do the run ability now, I gather quite a bit of uh, Fatch with the trike. So yeah. Not as useful as they used to be. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're on passive. Uh, what's in this? Check this bag, what was it? Nothing important. Yeah, but the last thing we want is Attila coming in to uh, rescue us. And I uh, um, probably can jump it, but I'm not going to risk it. Depends on how many points in speed you've got. May as well grappling to be safe. Ah, oh, it's got it. And is there anything on there near the artifact? Yeah, looks like there's a scorpion there. It's uh bring him into the lava. I'm not hit him. There we go. Oh, and there's two. So, can't get up here. Oh, they can get up here. Oh, oh, this is bad, this is bad. Quick. Kite him. Whew. It could be bad, we get poisoned there and uh, we uh, get tranked out. That could have been bad. Uh, okay, it's just grappling over there. So, it's okay. Oh, Dillo! Um, quick, quick, quick! Oof. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh no, <laughs> that would that could have been really bad. Oh dear. Come on. Oh, finally. That's just as well nothing uh, came to get us then. Ooh. Yeah, totally, totally forgot. <laughs> right, let's get back. Let's get back. Um, yeah, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try jumping it, cause. But yeah, if um, it, exactly the same thing. You can see how it could have happened. Um, I left it on neutral, and uh, I clearly remember that. And I nearly made the same mistake again as well. Totally forgot about the dil um, dillo. So. But there we go, that's the artifact of the massive. Just about managed to get that. Now I am going to have to come back and get uh, another couple. But it's right across from Herbie Island, so it's not really um, too much of a stretch to come out here. And uh, I can remember the route now, I think. <laughs> um, so it's just been a little while since I've done it. But I will tame an otter, um, certainly to do the next underwater cave, because uh, I am going to camp that, definitely. Um, I just want to go in that cave and do that the once, and uh, I want to wait around for the loot crates. So, that one is probably going to be um, a whole day, doing that artifact. And then of course we've got the snow cave to do as well, we're going to actually have to build something in there. And we are taming up the allosauruses, so we're getting... We're getting closer, but we could potentially take on the uh, brood mother before that. So, um, but I don't want to make promises because having been experimenting with the Allosauruses and the mutations, the Rex army really does need to be powerful, and I would like to at least get at least ten uh, health mutations on there or something, and a few melee mutations on there as well. So. Through December, I'm going to do a bit of a video about about that, but I expect there's going to be quite a few days of me just sitting and breeding, and uh, yeah, going through mutating Rexes. So I'm wondering with the update whether they're going to add some sort of tech device. There's rumours um, that a tech device could be coming that could sort of mutate your dinos as well. So. 
That'd be that'd be good. Because I think it is a bit of a it is a bit of a grind when it comes to the mutations and the amount of times you have to do it. But um, a tech device that speeds it up would would be quite good. Anyway, and looks like Twitch has laid an egg, but I'm really not that bothered about the RG eggs anymore. We got uh, more than we'll ever need at the moment, I think. Uh, but the point's good. And okay. So job well done, nobody died this time. That's good. We are another artifact down. And yep, yeah, we'll uh, do our transition. See you when we get back. Okay, just have to go and get some obsidian. It's another thing I'm gonna have to go out and get some more of. Um but yep, yeah, we've gotta do our pedestal. And gotta get it perfect, you know, it's gotta go perfectly right there. So, yeah, I'll come and get, I don't know, another two or three more of these. We certainly need to face the Broodmother three times, so I need another two at the very least. Um, but yeah, great, we're another artifact down. And I um, think over the next few weeks, well, I'm going to have to start concentrating on the, the wreck stuff. Um, but I want to I wanna get a few more, but we need to get this army started to get together. And I'm going to have to be gathering hide. But um, if you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget, hit the uh, subscribe button for more of the Complete the Arc series. Uh, we are getting closer. I'd say we're, we're past the halfway point now for sure. Um, but I need to go out and find a few more Rexes because I tamed that 145 and if it had a, a good health stat, that means we, you know, we're still missing a few. So we'll try and get there as fast as we can, guys. But... Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and we'll see you.